Do you have these old dated cabinets and you want to replace them? Well, don't. I'll show you how to paint your kitchen or laundry room cabinets and get the best finish. There's just a few simple steps that anyone can do. Even if you've never done any DIY, this is such an easy beginner level project. I'll take you through each of these steps in all the details so that you can paint your cabinets like a pro. I'm Hannah. Every week, I'll show you how to build your confidence to tackle DIY projects to make your home beautiful. Even if you've never picked up a power tool. We're going to start by removing the cabinets. You just need a drill and you remove the cabinets where the screws are. Now make sure you keep your screws in a really safe place because you're going to need them to reattach the cabinets at the end. And your door just pops out once you take the screws off. You don't need to remove the hinges, you can leave those right on. I know we want to see our beautiful new color on the cabinets, but we can't do that yet. We have to do all the prep work first to make sure that the cabinets have a seamless finish and that they don't chip after we paint them. So we're gonna start with all the prep work. So this is really easy to, to do, but I'm just gonna show you. So this is the knob and on the back is a screw. So you basically just, you can use a screwdriver as well. You put your drill into reverse and you just cut it out. And then if you're gonna reuse them, just keep them in a safe place. So the next step is that we gotta get some of the shininess off cabinet door. So we're going to use this. This is crud crudder. This is a deglosser. I love this deglosser. I've used it lots of times before. And we're just going to wipe off the boards and get some of that shininess off. Take an old cloth like a pillowcase and apply the crud cutter in a circular motion and you just work your way all around the doors on both sides, the front and the back, and get into those little grooves too. Next step is to sand the board. So you'll notice that there are different sanders out there. Um, this is a mouth sander and you see the shape, it's like triangular. And then this is an orbital sander and they both work in different ways. The orbital sander spins round and round and then the mouth sander has like a vibration and that's how it sands. Both sanders are great. For a cabinet door like this, you need to get into all of these corners. And the only way to do that is with a mouth sander. The orbital sander can't get you in there. Okay, so um, I'm gonna be actually using both. I like the orbital sander of like because of the way it like actually sands the flat surfaces, but then yeah, I use the mouth sander. If you're just gonna get one, just get the mouth sander. Start with a coarse sandpaper. Use a P60 or a P80 and tackle all the flat surfaces first. How much should you sand the cabinets? Well, you don't need to sand it all the way down so that it's like a bare wood or you're all the way down to the laminate. You just need to sand enough so that the top of it is like scruffed up and it feels kind of gritty when you touch it. Sand both sides of the door. Once you're done sanding the front, flip it over and sand the back as well. Sanding is the most important thing you can do to prep your doors. This is really gonna make sure that your primer adheres to the doors because there's no more shininess. So when you have that shininess, that's when the primer can't actually adhere and the paint will chip off. Now I'm gonna go into my corners and use my mouse sander and get into all those edges. Any detailing you might have, like these cabinets have this shaker edge, so I need to sand that as well. And the mouse sander is really great for that because you can just get into all those little small corners because of that pointed edge of the sander. I love both these sanders because the orbital sander helps you sand the flat surfaces really quickly, but the mouse sander, you definitely need that to get into the corners. We're almost at the stage that we're gonna be painting um, our cabinet doors. I'm just giving them a wipe down. I'm using a baby wipe. These are fantastic for getting the dust off. You don't need a tack cloth because a lot of people have baby wipes lying around. I definitely do. You need a really good primer to make sure that it will adhere to the boards. So I've listed a few of my favorites in the description below. So you can grab any of those. I use them all to paint furniture and cabinets before. When priming your cabinet doors, you need to use a foam brush and a foam roller. So first go in with your foam brush and paint all the little crevices, any shaker details, the edging, anything where you know that your foam roller is not gonna be able to go into. Next, go ahead with your foam roller and paint the entire cabinet door. You wanna get really good coverage. I usually just do one coat of the primer, but make sure you cover the entire cabinet door. 
So before we actually get to painting, we're gonna sand this. So I'm just gonna use like, this is a P320 grit. So you wanna use like a fine sandpaper because you might have some little, little, little places where you might have like some bumps or just anything. You just wanna make sure you get those sanded um, so that you don't see them when you actually are painting the doors. Cause those will definitely show through. The kinds of things that you're looking for is any type of drips of paint, any bubbling of the paint, anywhere where the paint is just not smooth. Because remember, our goal is to make these cabinet doors look flawless and make it look like they're actually either painted with a sprayer or done professionally. These details that are gonna make your cabinets look so good when they're done. So I definitely don't want to get any of the um, primer off. I just wanna get like the bumps off. Painting technique for your doors is really important. So you want to minimize the amount of brush marks you see. So naturally, you start by painting all of these edges, okay? And then also in, on these doors, there's like this profile, so on this. So I'm gonna use a brush for that, and I'll, I'll do the same on the back side as well. And then we'll, we will go in with a foam roller, and I have one here somewhere, but anyways, a foam roller ensures that you don't get um, brush strokes or like lines when you actually paint the door. I chose Storm Cloud by Sherwin Williams for these doors and we're using the um, urethane trim enamel line and that is perfect if you're looking to paint any type of cabinets, furniture, um, kitchen cabinets. It just has like an extra layer of durability that you're not gonna find in like a regular wall paint. Um, so, dun dun. Let me know what you think of this color. Would you choose this color to do your cabinets? I think it's gonna be so beautiful. Go in with an angled brush. This is the kind of brush that's gonna let you get into all the little crevices and don't overload your brush. You can always dab off if you have too much paint on the brush and we're gonna be building up the layers of the paint slowly. So we're gonna actually do two coats. So just let yourself do two thin coats to get a really nice finish. Once you've done that shaker detailing, go in and just paint close to the edges of the inside panel there. Your roller's not gonna be able to get too close to the edges, so it's nice to have that coverage with your paintbrush so that when we do roll, we can eliminate a lot of those brush marks. Let's paint the sides of our doors as well. Use a foam roller to paint the entire cabinets now. Remember, we're gonna be doing two coats, so just layer the paint on thinly, and we're gonna flip them over and do the backside as well, about eight hours after the paint has dried. Tip, it's a little bit easier to paint these if they're elevated off the ground, so I used a couple of paint cans and a case of sparkling water just to get them off the ground. So this is what the first coat looks like, which is fine, like you always get, you know, a bit of unevenness and that's why we do the second coat. Take a look at your cabinet doors before you do the second coat of paint. If you have some small bumps or any drips, just go in with that P320 grit sandpaper and sand those down before you do the second coat of paint. When you're painting, you don't need to really press the roller. If you're finding that you're doing that, you're not putting enough paint on your roller. So add a bit more paint and then make sure you're just rolling it without too much effort. If you're finding this tutorial helpful, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more budget DIYs. I swapped out those plain knobs for these really cute ones. I like them because they've got a little bit of gold and they have a few more colors and they're just gonna look really great in that space. I'm so excited to get these cabinet doors back on. You remember how they were just a plain brown wood? Well, I can't wait to show you how beautiful they are now because they make such an impact in this laundry room. And here it is, our blue cabinet doors. I love this color and the finish on them is spotless. For moving the cabinets and then reinstalling new ones would have been so much more time consuming and difficult. This is just an easy weekend project that you can do without really any power tools. 
Check out my $300 laundry room makeover video because that's where I'll break down exactly how I made over this laundry room on such a tight budget, plus all my organization hacks for a small laundry room.